former Nigeria Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar has said he will contest the presidential election of 2023. Atiku, who was the presidential candidate of PDP in the 2019 presidential election, maintains that 2023 is his turn to be president. Hmm. It's your turn to be president. It's your turn to be president. <laughs> Okay, he has every right to vie for any position of his choice as far as uh, Nigeria policies or election is concerned. He's very, very right. Every other person will still come out and and contest as well. Of course, he's coming out to say it. Some people are still not a uh, bold to come out and say they want to contest, but some people are really a lot of people are rallying around them, going on their behalf from places to places. So to say, oh, this man must be this, and there's uh, there's rancor even among themselves in APC. So it is not left for Nigerians. Nigerian also Nigerians have rights to vote for those anyone they feel that they can vote for if they are going to learn lesson. Like they always say, the majority carry the votes. If uh, the majority say, oh, this particular person, uh -huh. at the end of the day, the unfortunate thing there those who are on the minority side. Whatever that comes out, whatever the decision of the majority, everybody will be it. That is it. Just go and vote. Go and do your own votes. Don't say your votes does not count. Just start to prepare now. Start planning. If you don't have a, if you don't have a voter's card, just go and be, and be preparing to be able to vote when that time comes. It is in their right. It is not right, Nigerians. Don't, it is now in the right of Nigerians to say this is the person they want to vote for. Those who are still going to be coming out, let's see how it goes. Nigeria, do your part. Unfortunately, we don't know where we are going, where we are heading to. Buhari cried that he couldn't get the, the, the position. Three times he contested, the fourth time he got it. And everybody was like, yes, he prepared for it. He this and that. No, no, he said, na, 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 bobo. Atiku also cried. Uh -huh. It's coming again. <laughs> a lot of people are fighting. A lot of regions are fighting. It has to come to our region. It has to come to do this, this and this and this and this and that. Oh, the party must uh, give their tickets to this particular region or to the other particular region. Now, so we see the day. It is his turn uh -huh, to become the president. Nigerians, okay, we'll be preparing. Atiku has boldly come out to say he wants to vie for the position come 2023. What do you think? Are you going to vote for him? Are you going to vote for him? Honestly, I'm tired. What do I say? Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, it is your own opinion. People too, they will have their own opinion. So it is not time to start fighting. Hey, yo, he has done this, he has done it. Whosoever that you think is this, I will, I will be responsible for my own decision. You are going to be responsible for your own decisions. But at the end of the day, who... The, the majority we always have their say as far as democracy and policies is concerned. But let's hear what Nigerians are saying. Of course, there are a lot of a whatever, whatever out there. People's uh, opinion and mindset towards all these uh, politicians who have served in one way or the other. Oh, someone says here that uh, Atiku is the best. We love him with all our hearts. Someone says, hmm, I even learned he loves you so much. I saw the love message he sent to her. I even learned he loves you so much. <laughs> well, if South East is not given tickets by any party, Atiku will be a good alternative for the people of South, South and South East instead of Yoruba that betrayed us in 2015. It's better not to keep ruling. Okay, where and when did you make an arrangement with Yoruba about 2019 election that they later betrayed? For Igbo man to rule Nigeria, I prefer not to rule us the dead egos are very selfish people okay okay where and when did you make okay this one say they make the arrangement for ego to rule you you said you don't want that okay south is egos should rule i repeat well do not uh, for one old man to another are we cost or something hmm. someone is not saying do not trump and now Joe Biden are old men. So what are you talking about? And you can see how America is today. Only God knows if Biden will complete his tenure. Not like we have the best health care. Once anything happens, Atiku has jetted out of the country. Hmm. Donald Trump 
and now you buy the wood man. So okay, now that we have it, it it's not de- it not depends on you know. The whole thing now lies on Nigerians to do the right thing. Nobody's going to tell anybody, don't do this. Uh-huh. Anything, decision you make, you go get her. Uh-huh. You see, it's until they complain, complain. Because a lot of a lot of people now know what is obtainable, but they don't want to go. They don't want to go by that. So there's nothing you're going to tell them that will make them to change their mind because they believe that a suffering and smiling is the order of the day. Uh-huh. Suffering is what they are used to. They were born into suffering. So if you are telling them something otherwise, it's as if you are wasting your time. Let them continue. Until Nigeria will learn lesson. No, nothing will change. Yeah, right. I guess uh, that is now Atiku's life, soul, ambition. If he likes, he can contest till he's 100 years old. Never any thought about mentioning decent and incorruptible young fools from now. Um, building him or her up to the point that there will be no doubt about it. I think uh, age is not even the barrier. My concern is that all of them, they have a, there's a precedent that has been set. So they're always following that template till they can misbehave mm-hmm. and do and undo and nothing will happen at the end of the day. So they already know the system. Do they really have what it takes? At the end of the day, they will tell you, Atiku is outside now. He will tell you all beautiful things, all manner of things. But by the time he gets there, they will tell you, oh, they never knew that it is like this. Oh, they will tell you, oh, that's at that time, he was the vice president. He, he didn't know much. But now that he's down, okay, if paraventure he wins at the end of the day or he gets there, you begin to hear excuses upon excuses, excuses upon excuses. Now, so we go today. They've been in the position or they've been in government for God knows how long, but yet they can't produce anything. The only thing is what it's what happens at the end of the day that they get richer and richer and richer. They will tell you all beautiful things. They will tell you what you are feeling as a person. But by the time they get there, what you are you are not feeling that they they felt the same way, it will not have a different uh, tone. They will never reason like you again. They will never understand what you go through. They will not even know whether you have electricity, whether you have good roads, whether you can eat, whether your salaries are being paid, whether you even have job in the first place. They will begin to throw all of those things into the dustbin. Like I said, there's no point trying to say, oh, this one should not go. Mm-hmm, let them go. There's no uh, need to tell, start telling people, oh, don't vote for this person. Don't vote for this person. Vote at the end of the day. Anywhere you they drive you to, you now go reach there by fire, by force. I think I supported you in 2019, but the luck ran away from us. At this time, I think we need a vibrant candidate. Uh, talking about youth, we are not ready to take over from them. How many youth vote Shuwore or Mohalu? Nigeria youth are the architects of their misfortune. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Article has come out. He has made his intention known to vie for the position. It is not you for you to prepare. If you want to sit down and tell me you don't want to vote, if you want to go out to choose the wrong person, mm-hmm, it is your choice. Leave your comments guys below and let's know your thoughts on this.